Alright, so if you're watching this video, you've probably seen the last one for the ammo and stuff and things, and you're here for the GUI that I have and whatnot. So, with that, let's hop right into it by uh, going to... Um, what I did is I think I threw it in my player stuff, because it is like a player thing, um, I suppose. Um, it's something that's always going to be stuck to the player. So that's why I threw it in the player stuff. So you're going to right click, go down to user interface, and hit widget blueprint. I just called it HUD. It's, I mean, I suppose that's all that needs to be done. You can call it whatever you want. So let's open up the HUD. And this is hopefully where I can store all of the visuals and stuff. So I'm not a pro with the HUD, and I don't completely understand the anchoring system and whatnot. But um, first of all, what I did is I grabbed three things of text. I grabbed one and ca and called it current ammo, and I grabbed another uh, for the, just the slash, and then I grabbed yet another for all our ammo. So with that, excuse me, uh, I made current ammo a variable and all our ammo a variable I binded this uh, I binded this to I created a new binding called get current ammo and then I created a binding for this called uh, get all ammo so with that being said um, you can see the uh, anchors and the position here for everything so I'll just let you pause the video okay there they are and that should be good so what I did is over in the graph since we have these variables I went to get current ammo uh, let's yeah let's start with get current ammo so off of that I cast to the bro dude and off of that I, you uh, type in uh, I just typed in pawn and get uh, player pawn immediately pops up um, the note ignore it because um, it's just telling you that you don't have anything connected to this but we don't really need anything connected to that so ignore the note thing anyways off of the bro dude uh, you can just connect that to the return node anyways as bro dude we need to uh, get a quick get equipped weapon and off of the equipped weapon we need to get current ammo and then just drag this to this and it will automatically convert it as you just saw so pretty cool right so yeah just drag it and it converts it I think it's pretty handy anyways so uh, with that being said let's go to get all ammo um, by the way Oh, real quick, I did name these all ammo, and I named this current ammo. Um, it helps to do that before you actually create a binding, so FYI. <laughs> um, anyways, let's go to get all ammo. We're going to do the pretty much exact same thing. So if, if you've already done that, you can just take this and control C and then control V it over here because it's the exact same thing, except on... Uh, yeah, and then control V it over on all ammo, except on all ammo, uh, off of the equipped weapon, we get all ammo. And the exact same thing, you just drag it over to this. So it's pretty much the exact same setup, except uh, instead of current ammo, you get all ammo. So that's that. Now let's head over to the event graph. And... Uh, Oh, that's what that was. Um, sorry. Uh, over on the event graph, just uh, just type in tick and get the event tick, and off of it you're gonna get a sequence because you're gonna sequence the two things. So first thing you're gonna get is drag out all ammo. So you you may just be trying to drag this off and set. Uh, sorry, set text. How does it even say it? Yeah, it does. It says set text. I mean, it, it obviously it obviously didn't pop up. It's not popping up. So what you have to do is drag off all ammo and the current ammo. So get them and then 
set, sorry, text, and do that. And then on the text, connect, uh, drag, drag this out and connect it to that. So pretty much color to color, and the exact same thing will be done for this. So that is the HUD on the, that's that's the blueprint side of things on the HUD blueprint. Over on the Bro Dude, um, I went to my, uh, I went to add a component on on like I said on a character, and then I just typed in widget because that's what it is, and I parented it to my camera and I called it HUD. Now there's a couple things that you've got to do. Um, first, I'll give you the location and and stuff. So the location should be 10, negative 2, negative 1 if you're following this tutorial and if you've got the camera same setup, whatever. That's what I've got it on. So the rotation is 0 in the, on all, across the board and the scale is 1 across the board. Now, on the user... <laughs> sorry for the yawn. On the user interface, the space needs to be screen. And the widget class, of course, will be our HUD. It'll look, it should look like a little blue square. Um, if you, if you've got multiple things called HUD, just hover over it, and it will uh, hover over the blue square, and it'll tell you what folder it's in, and you'll be good to go. Draw size needs to be a thousand for the X and a thousand for the Y. Pivot needs to be 0.5 X, 0.5 Y, and the max interaction distance needs to be 1,000. So the the pivot and the max interaction distance, of course, are by default are uh, at their default settings. Everything else on this is defaulted, and as far as I know, that is ex that's all I did to set that up. So, uh. That should work just fine, and if you have any problems, just uh, comment in the comment page or the comment section, and I will get in touch with you as best I can. And uh, other than that, I thank you very much once again for watching another awesome, hopefully, awesome episode of this series. Wow, that reloaded really weird. What the heck was that? Anyways, uh, another awesome episode of this series, trying to fix things. Wow, maybe there's a delay in the tick. I don't know. I know after a while, the tick gets slightly delayed, so... <whistles> Either way, maybe I need to build the game. I, I'm... Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you very much. Uh, like, rate, comment, subscribe, donate to my Patreon because benefits are potentially good in the future. Um, the more you guys donate, it, the more I will be actually able to kind of give back to you in benefits or prizes or stuff, uh, depending on what happens. Whether it's, uh, I don't know, pick what you want from the marketplace and I'll send it to you or something if that's possible. Anyways. That's if we get enough Patreon donations and PayPal donations. <laughs> Anyways, once again, thank you very much for watching. If you have any uh, suggestions, you can put that over in the comment section or on my website. Website's pretty nice, too, um, in the forum section of the website. And last but not least, stay frosty and keep watching my awesome tutorials because I'm the best that ever was, and I need to quit referencing Pokemon. Okay, bye now.